Hello and welcome to a Wally Bois. And this bench here, this old workbench, which has been stuck in the garden. I did actually repair it at one point where because the legs had literally come away. It was all falling bits basically. So I kind of put it back together again, but it's been sitting outside in undercover, but still outside. But I want to use this in my um office. It's gonna we're gonna make it into a desk. And you can say, oh, okay, why don't you just use it as it is, as a desk? But the thing is, it's too long. It's two metres long, and we can't be any more than one, four, five. So we're going to make it shorter. But to do that, we're going to have to move the legs along. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some mortises for these uh, legs to be moved from this position here to there. And in fact, make a shorter desk. And then I can clean it all up and um, get some coats of wax and what have you. And uh, my dear, that's going to be my, my wife's desk for the use with the computer. So there's no writing or anything like that, it's just going to be the computer's going on there. So, But it looks cool, you know, there's old voice and stuff in that here. It actually does work still. So yeah, it's an old jewel. Yeah, it's pretty darn cool. So, uh, well you can't see it, there are. Old voice on the end, there you go, see? <laughs> so we're going to move these legs here to about here. So the overall length is no more than 145. To do that, I'm going to have to remove the existing legs first. And then from that, hello Susan, do it. I hope you well. Um, so we're going to move the legs basically from here to there, which involve cutting some, well, it's really rough mortises actually, because I, will go, I don't want to make new legs or to use whatever's there, because it's just look out of place otherwise. It'll just look, you got new and old, it's, I don't think it's going to work. Um, if they were that, you know, if they weren't solid enough, I'd uh, obviously have to make some new ones, but they, they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use these existing legs set on this end and move it along. But to do that, I need to remove them. And one thing I can do, so I can actually remove them, is uh, put a temporary leg on it like that. That's a temporary leg that's going to be, yeah, honest. And uh, I'm gonna, just going to clamp that on there like that, literally. Ram it on there like that. And so hopefully when I move those legs, it won't fall down. That's kind of, the, kind of the plan. I might have to put another temporary leg on in a minute. But I'm not going to cut it to length yet. I'm just got, I just need to move the legs across first. Then I'm going to have to cut this what and great lump of oak um, to length. It's a bit of a sag. I, don't really want, I didn't, didn't really want to cut it, to be honest, because it's, it's old. Really old. And um, But we can't use it in the house. It's, we've got nowhere really to put it. Practical, where we can actually make use of it. And it's going to look really cool in the office. And Caroline quite like the idea of it as well. So that's, that is the plan. That's what we're going to do. But it's going to make it shorter. It's two metres and we've got to make it 145. That's the plan. I think it's a plan. I hope it's a plan. Do you think it's a plan? <laughs> right. So first things first, I'm going to just mark whereabouts I want to put these legs. To do that first, I need to make sure that we're um, happy where the end is going to be. So I'm just going to put a mark where I want the end to be. I want to, I want to keep this hole, you see. I thought it's quite cool. We've got a cool hole there, so it's going to be about here. I don't want to, I don't want to lose its character. Well, I kind of do that by losing about 600 mil off the end. Because that is going to be a, a chunk of character gone. All right, I'm not going to pen now. I'll use it. I'll do. Oh, there's one here. Perfect. So we're just going to move about, about 145. So Bit on that, bit on that knot, I reckon. And the legs then be moved probably back to here. I'm going to go by what's there. Pen and a half. So about there. And that's where the legs are going to be chucked in. There's a split in here. It's got to be, got to be careful of this. Oh, something went ping. Why did I go ping? I just read. Right, why did I go ping? Bonjour. Oh, just saying that they received one of my Etsy products that I sold. Okay, so first of all, we need to cut these mortars, but before that, I need to actually mark where they're going to go. I need something to mark it with a square. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, it's behind. Oh, God. I get where I put my tools. It's over there. 
So if you look at the other ends, which you probably you might be, yeah, this end here, that definitely isn't square. So I might might true it up, but I might not. But it's about crikey, yeah, it's about inch and a half. It's about thirty five mil longer this end at the front, but that, that won't be a problem. I'd rather leave it, leave as much character as I can in it, if it's possible. But I'm just going to mark that there first. Um, yeah. Then here, where the legs are actually going to start. Wrong, yeah, plenty of room. Might be tempted to go a bit closer to the end, or not. Because then you could have one, two people set up if I did. If I did. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. That's going to look, that's going to look odd. Oh, look. Hmm. Oh, decisions. I'll oh, we'll go on this side of it. The line. I think that's what I'll do. I'll come on this side of the line. I was going to go that side of the line. But in fact, I'm looking at that end. It's closer anyway, that end is, than, the, than this end. So you don't know what the history of this thing is, you know. But it's an old workbench, old woodworker's um, bench. And um, it was in my son's garden without the legs attached and stuff like that. And I just sort of re put it together, or put it all together again. And it's been, yeah, we have been using it to some degree, but not properly. It's definitely not a workbench, it's just not uniform enough. As in, it's not a, you know, a usable woodworker's bench, to be honest. Some people might disagree. Depends what you want. It's a bit of wood. I've got a bit of wood. I've got a hammer. I've got a mallet. Oh, and a hammer. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to raise this end. Let's move that camera around a bit, or I could just go to the other camera, actually. There you go. So I'm going to raise this end just a bit. So I've got that on there at the moment. And we're going to lift this up here, and that, let that spare leg, <laughs> its peg leg, go down a bit lower. That's it. A bit wonky. I can put another leg on there actually. I might put another temporary leg on over there, I think. Bum, 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 bum. Then you can see, that'll do the job. Now the legs are free floating though, the legs aren't actually on the ground. Let me just bring that camera around again. Hello, Mad Monk. Hope you're well, my friend. So let's move that camera a little bit further around because that's where the interest is, is this end. Arr, there you go. So we're going to try and draw or drive the leg set out. They should come out. They're not. Um, I can't remember if I used cast mic glue or not, or when I put them back in again and wedged them. But they've been wedged. They've deteriorated somewhat since. Oh, they're going. That's driving. Although they look pretty manky, they're in the quite it's actually quite tight. There's a wood lice are coming out. They obviously like it. Right. Could argue. Oh I'll make another set of legs up, but I don't want to. We'll try and keep it as original as possible. So it should just fall out a bit of luck. Debbie. Ah, the legs are free. God. Wood lice. What are they like? Right, so. So it's going to be a bit of chopping, some chisel work to do. But first of all, we need to measure it because because it's deteriorated differently. I can't like say, okay, oh, a stink bug. I can't um, cut these exactly the same size because it's rotted, you know, in places and a bit of worm in other places. So I need to kind of make it a bit smaller to compensate, and then a little bit of yeah, you know, a little bit of uh, TLC 
so it actually um, kind of fits. Then I'll put some wedges in to hold it in place. You see, like, like it's a bit manky on the ends of that, but we don't care. You know, it's just got old nails in the bottom holding that ledge on. Bugs. There's a bit of rot in there, not too much. That's solid, that's all solid. That'd be right, that'd be fine for what we're using it for. And I'll just stick some resin in it, you see. And that'll hold it all together. <laughs> Handy resin, as you know. So that bit's all going to be gone. Uh, I want to see if I can make something out of this, actually, this old, old bit of oak. I really didn't want to make it smaller, to be honest. I just, but we haven't really got anywhere at the moment where we can actually put it. And we need a desk for Caroline, so we're going to make it into a desk. So move this out. I'm gonna stick an, probably stick another leg on there. I was gonna see what's gonna happen. It's gonna keep moving. And it'll be annoying. Eeny meeny miny moe, I'll find a bit of wood now. What can I use? Hmm. Well that might do it. That'll do it. Oh that'll do it. That can be another leg. If I can find another clamp. Or stick oh, if I stick it on that clamp, what's gonna happen? It's gonna fall, isn't it? So okay. Stick I'll find another clamp. I've got actually clamp straight to that if I want to. Or, 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 I'm gonna stick this clamp onto her. Do it that way. <laughs> That'll do it. Let's lift that up a bit. Right, there we go. It's now got another peg leg. Arr, so wobbly, it don't matter. Let's just lean up against there for the moment, just so uh, it stops it moving. With this hair, we're going to mimic that hair. That's the plan. All right, I've already put the marks in where I want it to go. So now I need the other leg set, which I'll lay up there. So we've got good access to it. With its, rot with its old rotten ends, oh dear. Could make another set up, but I'm not going to. Because I can't be asked. Oh, oh, I didn't say it out loud, did I? Oh, I did, didn't I? Right, so I need to gain these measurements. So that's going to be that one. And that one will be this one here on this end. So, um. First of all, we need its width. It's all about the girth, you know. It's all about the girth. All right, that would have been 100 mil. What is 100 mil? What is it about up here? 100 mil there, 100 mil there. So the main waters, which is basically a square hole, but the wood lights, little buggers in there. <laughs> so there's 100 mil, which I'll make slightly, slightly small. No, 100 mil is about right. By, what's the width? 35 mil. 35 mil. So if I first make two mortises, 35 by 35, and um, the back mortise here, that is literally just a mortise. The front one is actually a dovetail, dovetail slide on the front here. I'll show you there. This one, the front, that's the front, and that's a dovetail slide. So where it comes up the front, up the front edge here, it's actually a dovetail slide. Whereas that one here has been cut as almost like a half a lap. It doesn't matter as long as it is, you know, it stays together. That's the plan. It's quite a good plan, I think. Yeah. So. So there we go, there it is. So I've got 100 mil. There, just go take that. That'll do. 100 mil there. Let's get a smaller square. Oh, one of these will do. An engineer square. So we're going to mimic that. Actually, no, I'll use that one. It's more accurate. Oh, it's lint. <laughs> well, I don't know if accuracy actually comes into it.
Now that's about what? 70, 80 mil thick that top is. There's quite a bit of top there. It might look, yeah, the bits I showed you a bit, bit kind of rotten. But it's actually um hard old bit of oak. So it's going to be fun chopping through it, that I must say. Um, he said 35 mil, didn't we? So that's 35 mil. So I'll go from the back edge, which is 85 millimetres in. Yeah, we set them both. 85, let's go 85. Right. 85 there. I'll treat this actually, it means we're being in the house. We will treat it. I know it's chemicals and what have you, but what else can you really do? I don't want bugs eating my house. I know the worms come and gone. What else is in there? You don't know, do you? But we'll have to treat it again. Thirty-five is a raw. Right. D D D D D. Damn it! Stay there. That's it. Right. So that'd be the first square hole. Quite hard to mark because it's all lumpy. Bit like my bot, but there you go. That's got removed. Then I'll have the front dovetail on that one. And then just a cut out on the back. That one, which is that cut out is easy, obviously, but the dovetail's a bit more a bit more tricky. Hello, Beeshin, Duke Vengeance. I hope you're well. Right, here we go. Next stage. I've got to remove as much waste as I possibly can out of that. An easy way to do that will be a spade bit or a, or, or, <clears throat> or like an Archimedes bit to actually take the bulk of waste out and then clean it up with a chisel. You could even use a router. Take a lot of the waste out with a router, it's quite possible. What bit have I got in that router? No, it's the wrong bit. So I can't be able to change it. And also it's quite deep, so you won't get it all out anyway. So it's going to be a chisel job. So we can either just attack it from the beginning with a chisel but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove as much of the waste as I possibly can first with a uh, spade bit to do that we need a drill and a spade bit a sharp one obviously probably uh, what was it, 35 wide so I've got a 32 mil spade bit and here's oh, is that one sharp yeah that one's, sort of, yeah, that one's sharp or is that one sharper ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. yeah I'll, sh I'll go with that one we will go with that one. I've got a spade bit. <whistles> Knocking things over over here. I'm going to need a drill. I'm just going to go with an electric drill because I'll, I'll get more uh, more luck with that. As in the mains drill. Not that one. Yeah, I battery one will do it, but suck all life at you. At your drill. Right. When you do this, you've got to try and make sure you're at 90 degrees. Otherwise, when you get to the bottom of your hole, especially when it's that um, thick, yeah, the top is that thick, you're at risk of, um, well, going off skew it. Now we carefully come out the back, otherwise you'll just break all the wood out. Oh, it smells nice. We try to scratch and sniff. Now the bit's getting hot.
You can see how easy it was to, to draw that, and that's just with a spade bit. You remember, this is old oak, hard old nails, and uh, just use an old spade bit, to, you know, to do what we're doing here. Now, the thing is, if your spade bit is sharp, you'll be able to do it. If it's not sharp, it's not going to work, is it? <laughs> now, I'm sighting this drill up now with the other hole that I've done, which is, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty vertical. <laughs> Bit's getting hot. Just give it time. So even this piece of wood here, I'm, 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 we could be removing, might look manky, but underneath that, that's going to have a lovely bit of wood. The proof is there. There's nothing like, there's little no shavings. Now the rest of that we'll do with a chisel, and then I'll do the other one. I'll let that bit a bit cool down, and while it's cooling down, we'll get a chisel. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Really, I should be using a mortar's chisel for that. Do, 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 eeny, oh, which one, though? Oh, this one's sharp, that's the point, isn't it? That's not sharp. None of these are sharp. Where's the other one gone? Come on. Hmm. Where's my big mortar's chisel gone? Who's nicked my mortar's chisel? Was that you? I think it was, wasn't it? Hmm, what's that got? Oh, there it is. Cut my little knives. Is that sharp? Not really. No. Oh dear, that's not sharp at all. Right. <laughs> There, John, I'll be back in a second. I haven't really gone anywhere, I'm just over here. You just can't see me. <laughs> That's pretty good. I've got that one now, and we'll have that as well. Right, one mortar's chisel. And the difference between mortar's chisel this is a, this is a uh, bevel edge chisel, Robert Sorby bevel edge chisel. And this one's a Robert Sorby mortar's chisel. You can see the difference. That one, you can get with a little welly, because it's a lot thicker at this point here, than you can with this one. All oh, this fairly solid chisel mine. Um, but at that stage, you see, that's a, that's a bevel edge chisel. And a fairly good bevel edge chisel. And that one's a mortar's chisel. So we'll use a mortar's chisel to take the worst of the material out. And I'll finish off with that one. Careful, don't get too much breakout on the back edge of that. There are things you can do to actually prevent it. One is you can clamp a bit of wood on the back face, which we, we might end up doing that in a minute when I get towards the end. Uh, other than that, you can just uh, just go like a building a challenge up and make a right old mess. The thing about a mortise chisel is you can give it. Here there, you, you, you know, you use it as a lever to clean your mortars out. Once the worst, you know, the bulk of materials out of this, we can actually use the other chisel. I could use the drill and took the middle out, but what fun is that? You could even use a saw. We used a sabre saw before, which is a bit like a uh, jigsaw on steroids. The only problem with sabre saws, they don't, they don't generally cut in a straight line. There we go. It's getting there. We're nearly there. Let's get some more free space. Well, let's get you a bit closer, shall we?
There we come. Oh, oh, don't you? Enough of that vertigo. Right, so that's what we're doing. We're cutting a square mortise in there. And we're going to do the same on the opposite side as well. A minute. Feels sharp, that's not that sharp there. It's not as sharp as it should be. One of the reasons I don't like doing this, in the sense of the reason I do like doing what I'm doing at the minute is because we're going to make use of this bench. But I don't like the fact that I'm actually making it shorter. I really don't. Yeah, it's the history of it all, isn't it, you know? When was this thing made? 1930s? Well, that may be older. These old um, bench workbenches, they've been about a bit for donkey's years, you know? It's quite hard to date them. They're all pretty much the same for the last 200 years. The thing is for us, it's um, not as useful as it, it will be. Yep, that's it. This is what you call socket chisel, as in, instead of having a ferrule, like you've got on this uh, bevel, that's the ferrule. That ferrule's actually split and there's a new ferrule on it. Um, you can still have like that brass ferrule on there. This one here has a socket. So the handle fits inside the socket. So to actually replace the hands quite simply, you just got to turn, turn it until it fits the size of the so inside that socket. Um, and stick it in some water and it'll swell up and go to be tight inside the socket. But now we're on this chisel now, really, because I've made some space. This one's also a very old Robert Sorby chisel. Make good steel. It's quite interesting to see the politicians try and, uh, and pun other pundits, political pundits, try to um, justify um, removing Gary Lineker from Match of the Day. I thought that was quite fun to watch. And Marina Perkins. <laughs> been told that she doesn't know what brands are by a, a farmer <laughs> oh dear these people there we are getting there so I've got to do it again over there as well I made this mallet years ago it's only mahogany I had some. But it has actually been a very good mallet. If I could get hold of some, I'll just, you know, lignum vitae. I'd, I'd like to make a uh, wood turret, not wood turret, a carver's mallet. So like a round mallet. Um, trying to get hold of suitable hardwood for it, like lignum vitae or something like that. Or even a, um, even an ironwood, even. Like green heart or something like that, you just um, put your even purple heart if I can get over the big enough bit. Purple heart would be like from Brazil, it's, um, I could have, actually, I could have brought myself some back from uh, Ginger Island or nearby. I'm sure they'd had purple heart, it's a tropical hardwood, you know, rainforest type wood. Oh, 
Well, some horrible stuff going on in the UK at the moment, isn't there? Really is. With this borders bill. We made some videos recently. I've done some today. I recorded some videos regarding the online protections bill, or online security bill, or the protections of it. Oh, no, the online security bill, or whatever it is anyway, the online bill. It's, um, that is going to cause so much problems. It's going to pretty much cut off the UK from a lot of trade. Just like Brexit. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, the, um, you know Downton Abbey, the, uh, where that's, the, yeah, that big castle place. They do weddings and that, but they said they had to cancel, um, stop doing weddings because they can't get star. And they're actually saying it's because of Brexit. <laughs> oh well, so they'll be. Nearly there on that one. Thing is, the, the proof in the pudding, but when I try, actually try and fit it in, it might be a bit of an odd fit because the ends of the original pieces of wood are a bit, bit well, they had a bit of wear. <laughs> They've suffered the test of time, they have. It's always the last bit in that, it's always the last bit of the pain. There we go. So what you can do is you could, when you're doing this job, to make life easier, someone's got a good idea to create a mock-up piece. So effectively a, a mock of the end of that, but one half of. So you make that bit first, so you then, you know, that slides in and do the same with the other bit. But I did it, so that's tough. Ha <laughs> ha. Go, that's there. <laughs> Nerdy there. Very near now. There you go, I've got my squ one square of water's done. Ooh, a little bit, don't over dirks. Doesn't really matter. All that matters is that it actually goes in the square hole. That's one square mortar. So all the way through. Oh, it's like a grab handle. Now to make life easier for mimicking this up, um, let me get so actually you need to fit this. That cross rail on that leg set I'll remove. So then I've got the two separate legs. Um, and then I can fit one and fit the other and then reinsert then reattach the cross rail. Because as it is, how am I supposed to fit this side properly if I can't get the other side in at the same time? I can't. So this way I could get the side done, get that leg kind of in, in place and fitted, and that means I've got an extra leg. You've got to have enough legs, you see. So hopefully we could remove this. Put two rusty old nails in it. Dear. <laughs> That's the front one, isn't it? Possibly remove that or not, or is it just gonna? Hmm. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. Using my mortar chisel as a lever. Do I hit the nails with a sort of more? Actually, that nail even in there. There's only one nail holding it. And that one just snapped off. <laughs> oh, more wood lice. So now we've got this bit. So that's going to, yeah, that's going to have to slide into that mortise. Doesn't look too 
too bad. And I've got to do the same with the other side. There's nothing eating that. Yeah, there's nothing eating that. I don't want to lose its character, so it's a, big, it's a compromise. Can we put big old wedges in it, you see, and uh, it'll become a part, it'll become like, almost like a feature of it. That's what my excuse for not doing it, for not actually making a new leg set, you see. Probably could create more work, actually, but at least it's, at least about, I'll keep its character. Right, and this is actually tapers, it's not actually straight. So I'll have to bear that in mind as I, as I do this. So you can see that in there where it comes, is there. Over, overshoot it a little bit. So we need a centre line. So this because oh, you're cutting out here. You see on the front edge. Oh, you can't see. There you go. All right. So basically, we're going to do, we're going to be cutting out this front here, and it's a dovetail shape. So it's tapered. Whether that was intentional, I don't know. Um, it might be just because of the shape of the leg. <laughs> you know, they kind of would have gone with the flow, I'm sure, to be fair. So it's fun centre, it should be about 50 mil. Roughly. And the overall width of this, of this dovetail is 75 mil. So we've got 35. 75 is there, and that'd be the overall width. Do, 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 do. And then it's tapers in to that point there, and to that point there. So it's a bit of guesswork going on, as you can probably see. Which means I'll need to cut that in with a handsaw, because it's, it comes to the, to the face. So um, I'll probably use my distance, which is which I've trapped with the, t with the workbench. So here's, here's my distance, distance handsaw. So go all the way down to the off. There was actually a tape to that, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sure, that is the same width on the back face. That's all I've got. Fifty mil. It looks about right. Yeah, it's spot on. So that's fifty mil there. So that's got to be removed. So could use a skill saw to do that with. It's a bit tricky and maybe a little bit dangerous, but we're gonna use a hand saw. Because I like using hand saws, even though it's a really bad angle to use a hand saw at, to be fair. But the best thing I'm gonna cut that way and cut that way up to that line and hopefully then remove the rest of the material with a chisel. And that leg should hopefully slide in. I know it's a bit mangy on the end, but time I put the wedges in there, then we're going to put, use a bit of resin. <laughs> well, I'm not mixing resin today though, because it's um it's going to be too blooming cold for it to be any good. Hello, Bernard. Sunny and 24 today, inland from Malaga. Unreasonably warm this weekend. Oh dear me. <laughs> I'd love to be in Malaga, says Casper. Hello, Casper. Do -de 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 -de. So, let's chop that with a handsaw, if it allow me. Is it sharp? Mm, debatable. Chop that wide, minute, wouldn't I? Well, I've done that before. I've actually, I, I, I <laughs> once chucked the saw though, or dropped the saw, the teeth went into the cable and went bang. Well, that was years ago. I can't remember what, even what tool that was. Now. That's all right. Same in the other direction. 
guessing the angle. Don't think it really matters because it's so far out anyway. The actual leg itself. It's going to be a case of make, make do and mend afterwards, probably. Right, how do I do this now? The wrong angle. I'm sort of away from myself. It's been so unnatural. Lucky there's no blooming nail. I haven't <coughs> seen any nails actually in this top yet. So I don't really want to be cutting into nails. Not if I can help it. Everything's wobbling. Well, I did it. So far, so good. And we'll see whether or not we get that other leg in there. A minute. I'll be careful I don't over take too much off all at once. So we'll come to about here, I think. And also, the dovetails are going to get trapped. So let's take a bit of time. Gently does it. It's a very rustic thing, so you can you don't you haven't got to be like go crazy regarding the fit. You just make it fit. You make it work. And if if that that let this edge here is probably gonna be further in what need be, so I'll probably just shape the outside edge to suit. Once it's once it's actually in. I'm splitting all this edge here anyway, so don't I? Quite brittle. It's so hard this one, it's quite brittle. And also it's been weathered, so the outside they've got all these cracks and splits everywhere. Don't help. So I'm right on that split here. Which that split that runs through here. One's there. Totally can save it. It's not. It's not a huge worry. Like I said, I'll just make it fit. <laughs> Will that go in there, or is it not quite right yet? Move that off there, sort of slide off and stab me in the leg. Right, I need, really need more height. I have to move that leg up higher. I'll move this one up higher. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually just moving the legs down. Those two temporary legs I fitted on the end with, with the clamp. I'm just moving down lower. So I can actually slide the leg up from underneath. And I can see it where I've got to trim it a bit more if need be. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. Oh, get a bit down there. Bum, 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 bum. I think the dovetail's okay. Might be a bit tight, so I think that's gonna. I think that will be okay once that's. Yeah, that'll be right. I've got to take a bit more off the mortars on the right hand side, or I might just trim the side of the. Of this, to, you know, to fit. I'll do a hand plane or to chisel. It's all crank, banky anyway. Like that, see. Wet. I know that much. Oh, 
Oh, pretty hopeful. Thank you a lot. Right. Right, Fred. Fred. <gasps> Man. Well, there are wormholes in it. Wormholes everywhere. It has been treated before, to be fair. Well, this, this is old. Otherwise, I'd have found some bugs. Apart from the, obviously the wood lice. Back is. Not paying their rent. There you go. Why is that not going in? Right. It should slide in there. That is definitely too tight on that side, which is a good thing actually. So I need to remove a little bit out off here. I don't want to take any off here because that's going to be a big lump off there anyway. So I'll take a bit off the off the leg. I'll compensate. Do you know what's going to happen? This one, oh god, this is too bad. I'm going to oh, let's make another leg. Probably quicker, you know. Do, 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 do. And a bit more maybe. So that's going in there. A bit resisted. A bit of resistance. <laughs> Heavy breathe. Oh. That's going in there, that's better. A bit more off that back edge. Do not find any larvae. Do, 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 do. How's that looking? Hmm. Well, that looks all right. If I can, if I can clamp that up, I could use a clamp, or I could use a big mallet. So let's use a clamp. Since I've got one over here, might be ideal for that job. Will it go in? I think that bit will go in. Hmm. Look, don't make it a bit narrow, but I'm looking at it now, looking down at it. So I can see that the back edge of that, that leg is a funny shape. But we'll just wedge it to suit. This clam don't do it. I've got a bigger one over there. That'll definitely get in. It's going now. It's squeezing up. Okay, let's just now take it down a little bit. Because it's got very, um, hasn't got much. Oh, there's not much room, not much free freeway on that. You can't screw it very far, basically. These old Revix clamps. We fun cut cutting of them in the bench to length. Let's 
quite tight, but I kind of want it tight. Because how banky it is, it's... It's getting there. You don't want that loose, obviously, because the legs will be... Yeah, wobbly legs. Not wobbly legs. Not when there's not a lot of bracing. Right. Now what I might do with that now is <laughs> put that leg down again. And now it's up there. Bum 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 bum. I'm going to slacken off the peg legs and then get a bit of welly onto that leg so it's on the ground. So um, then I can basically whack, whack the top of the death, um, bench until that leg goes in. Hopefully it goes in. Bring that, this one down. So that one's on the, it's on the ground. Bring this one up a little bit. A bit higher. So there you are. So, we, we have a mallet, so I could use the mallet, which is on the floor down here. See, the pressure's actually on that side here. It's not going to come flush. So what I can actually do here, if I wanted to, I might just do that actually. On this bit here, I'll get another bit of end grain and you can make a plug that fits in the hole. So once I wedge this into place, I know it's not going to go anywhere because this isn't going to go all, all the way up because all of make the legs too short. Um, it's going to come a little bit more. Or is it there now? No, another 10 millimetres that'll come up. But it's, yeah, if I want to make a nicer top to it, I'll just a bit of end grain if I wanted to. The other thing is, if you want to protect obviously what you're doing, sometimes go a decent bit of wood on the top. Then you use lump hammer if you want. It's nearly there. That's not helping. Let's just remove this back leg a little bit more. It's virtually there. Still a little bit of space. That come a bit higher than that. I don't make it too, you know, idea, I could make it a little bit, well not idea, you could make it too slack, it's going to be, it's got the legs going to be wobbly, isn't it? So I just need to give it more welly until it goes. Could use a lamp hammer if I wanted to. I've got one in it. Probably somewhere. Oh. I ain't got a lamp hammer in it. Silly is that? Normally got one in it. Hmm. Oh, that's like I got a sledgehammer. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> if in doubt, give it a clout. Oh, me, that is tight. Back edge down. Nope. All right, a bit more then. Ooh. <laughs> I 
Oh, I think that did it. Oh, yes. A little bit more. Brute force and blooming ignorance. So, oh, I'm saying another word, but. What's... What are we doing there? It's tight. We're there. Two mil. Yes. Let's put it a bit and then that's it. Right, now I can wedge that. It's front lean edge, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I might just ooh. we can stick some obviously bits of wood in here basically. Some glue and what have you. And here we'll stick a wedge in there. Then I might put a cap on top of it to hide it. So, so hmm, do I hide it or just, just leave it as it is? Well, I've got to do something with those because I need to wedge the leg. The wedge leg, basically, I'm going to put two wedges in one there and one there, and that'll splay it. That'll lock up the sides, then decide what I'm going to do with it. I don't really want to lose, lose its uh, authenticity. Or is it the awful to some tea? Hello, Gingers, hope you're well. Do -do 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 -do. You're on your lunch break and shoving lots of snow. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, we ain't had the heating on either. Although we had the, heat, um, the heating on this afternoon because we had babies round. Cost me a fortune. It's not even my babies. Let them get cold! Right, so. We need to make some wedges up. Hardwood wedges. Well, there's a bit of oak. It's probably about the right width. Yeah, not far off. So that just needs to be made a bit narrow, but also we need to slice it so it's a, a taper. Now I've sliced it, or we can actually just sand it into that tape with the um, linisher sander. Either way, that'll do the job. So, or you, or I can just peel it off with a with a chisel, or use a bandsaw. First of all, I'm just going to chop that on the. Uh, Right, I'm so I've got two wedges, so there's just one. Could I cut that into a wedge, just by hand, just like that? Let's see, is that possible? Ooh, what's the best bit to get rid of on there? I'll try and do it without slicing my fingers. It's usually a good idea. This is a really bad idea. Don't like this idea. Normally I cut them on a bandsaw. But two reasons why I'm not. One is, one of my bandsaws broke a blooming band yesterday, but the actual um, soot blade itself. So I want it's a bit annoying. I could put this in the vice and do it that way, but it's quite thin. No way of doing wedges is you either cut them straight on the table saw with um with an insert in so it's not too wide around the blade. And the other way is you, you do your angles and literally cut them in half. You split split a difference. And then you can use the fence. So then you've got to be a bit of woodwork with you see. That makes life a lot easier. How's that? Make it a little bit narrower. Right. That's it. That'd be one to start it. I guess you just do that. We'll have a wedge. And 
that's literally splayed this piece of wood out that way. The mangy bit of wood. Yeah. Get right, Marks. Mangy bit of wood. Be really careful when you're doing this because you can quite easily slice your fingers. So you've got to make sure all your fingers are behind the blade and not nowhere near in front of them. It's quite easy. A lapse of concentration. You're not slicing stuff and there's blood everywhere. Yeah. Not fun. Don't like it when I cut myself. I do it quite often, actually. I've got to cut them. So healing from at the moment. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can make sure you're behind the blade at all times. Remember that, Marcus. Don't do what you did last time. Right. Nearly there. Oh, there she blows the compressor. Oh, I caught Moby Dick. No, 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 that's Tully's Cafe. Dee 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 dee. Right. Something goes off. Make sure it's the right width. Over there. Bum 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 bum. To leave it like that and just fill it with resin. So it's dry. Not on there. Can't really do much about that. I'll put another bit of wood in there, I suppose. But it should be tight. Which it is. Right, so we've got one leg done. Yes, got a leg. Not quite so legless as we were before. So now we've got the other one to do on the other side. Lovely. Lower this up. Peg leg, it's lowered. Once this is dry, it's a bit wet because we're outside. Once it's dry, I'll get rid of all the loose stuff out there. I'm going to literally just pour a little bit of resin into all these bits of paper. It's just clear casting resin. Makes it look intentional. But it's not really intense, it's just a, bo a bodge. So <laughs> be you've got to be honest with yourself. Alright, next leg, a to do. Oh, I need to remove the. Oh, do I need to remove that? No, I will remove the other leg from that brace. Because. Well, it's loose anyway. And uh, there might be an opportunity to fix it a bit better than that. <laughs> Instead of old nails, I'll probably use. Um, Big old pegs. Yeah, that's off. I've got the wood lice in there, look. Wood lice. Crawling about. Little devils. Oh, uh, hot load in there as well. Oh, that gave me a headache. I didn't care, I just shook. I oh, the buggers. Although, maybe I should. I just eat everything, not careful. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the leg. This one's a bit easier. Because that one was literally just chopped into the back edge. Now, where I've actually put it, when I consider what that side, what it was like further up here, there's a big gap there. So what I might actually do is, I'll put, I'll put that where the same distance away from that one. I'm actually going to move it further out. Because the way this side has been cut on that one, is there's nothing to it. So I'm going to bring it bring it further out looking at it so set it being there which would create a big gap i'm gonna bring it up to there oh my god there's loads <laughs> to there anyway that's what we're gonna do instead i think that'd be better my pen this one's a bit easier to do actually because you haven't got a dovetail slide Yeah, that's centre line there. I know where the marks are, you might not be able to see it, but I know where they are. They're there.
this was a bit originally been yeah it wouldn't have been seasoned or anything like that just literally cut off a tree and made into a bench <laughs> Ooh, a little bit far over that way so i have to compensate on that end Watch the end, obviously you'll split the end of the wood out. <laughs> these are so easy to sharpen, these uh, spade bits. I actually really like them because, because they're so easy to sharpen. I, don't, I never buy the ones with the fancy little pointy bits on and stuff like that because all it does is it means you can't sharpen the flipping things. So the very simple spade bits. For me, I think they're the better ones, my personal opinion. And all you've got to do is literally, well, I use the, um, the linisher, but you can just use a flat file on there and a flat file on there and then flatten the faces off with your diamond stone, sharpen stone, and then it's done. Hello. Oh, yeah. You can manage. I've got one leg on. I've moved one leg. Oh, no, it's terrible, isn't it? It's about to fit the other leg. <laughs> about right there. Leave it long a bit, I think. What I'm going to do this time, which I didn't do last time, I'm going to literally <laughs> run in the middle as well. I'll get easier. I don't know if they made them windows and stuff on benches like this. I'll never know. I know it'll be flatter than what it is now, I realise it. In my mind, you need a very, any woodwork and requires a flat bench and level. Flat and level bench. Because my knees, the one, the one here, that bench is very flat. It, it, when, it, when it had a pine, thick pine top on it, um, it started to uh, get a little bit, how to put it, a little bit uneven. So I'd um, put furring pieces in and put another top on it, stiffened it up. Because make like windows, you see, for people. So when you clamp up, you've got to make sure that obviously that the you're clamping onto something that's flat. Otherwise, you end up with uh, something that's not flat, and then you get complaints. And people say, "Oh, it won't fit into my hole." You said it'll fit into the hole. You measured it. It'll fit into the hole. Uh, sorry. I need a new bench. It's like when you're boat building. And I used to work with my dad a lot because his dad was a boat builder. And um, whether it be fiberglass hulls with fiberglass superstructures or whether it be a wooden hull. Well, the wooden hulls are different because, yeah, it's, to be fair. But when you, with the wooden hull, you've got obviously with the hog, which is a, basically near the key of the, of, in the tree. <clears throat> yeah, your hog. And. Um, if that's not flat, you'll start with that in exactly where you want it to be. It makes it very difficult to get everything else right. Because you literally, when you're doing boat building, you set your water line, you set your, you know, if you've got a fiberglass hull come in, you, you level it through from bow to stern. And if you don't, you can't use a level for, for all the other parts of the boat. Remember, the boats are not, they're not square, are they? They're funny shapes. Like boot shapes. <laughs> yes, I know it's a boat. Um, and because of that, you've got, you know, if you can use a level, you know, spirit level, 
or a water level or whatever type of level you're using it's um these days we laser levels and stuff but you know you, if you set the boat right in the first place you can work everything off your level so um comp compound joinery is um you know the knowledge of compound joinery with, with um boat building is a is a must because all your angles are going in different directions it's like for instance you put a work to yeah put a yeah a galley in in the boat yeah basically the kitchen i um, mean you make sure that the top is level when that boat sits in the water with its water line so everything set to the water line into, into the level so you've got to get that first bit right They say start right, finish right, that's what they say, isn't it? A bit like that. Oh, it's saying, isn't it? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Oh, we're getting closer. Cow and walking the dogs on her own today. He does sometimes. Where we are, well, there's been some changes to our the road layout where we are. <laughs> so it's very rarely is there a car on the road, hardly ever now. Because um, the road, which used to be a through road, went past the farmer. The farmer's managed to get the Mary to block it off. So um, the road never, you know, it's access only now. So you can't go through that way. See, so now we have a lot less traffic on past house. So although it's a pain in the neck for us in some ways, in other ways it's quite nice. The fact that we've got less traffic. Now saying traffic, uh, it's debated. You talk about like a, I don't know, one of the little French vans or or a tractor. That's the sort of tra traffic we get. We get many cars and the post lady or man. Depends who's coming. There are some benefits of living in the country. There are. There's also some negative sides to it as well. Like everything's so flipping far away. And you kind of have to get into a car to go anywhere. You know. It's not as though we, we wouldn't use the bike. Yeah, we do use the bike, but um, it's the fact that obviously there's not enough time in the day. And if you've got to spend, you lose an hour that one way, an hour or the other way. Well, then by the time you've done all that, you, you've got nothing done, have you? Oh. Closer by the minute. Be careful on end grain because you can actually break out the back the back quite badly if you're not careful. So you can only take it out in bits, you know, in little pieces, little bits. At the moment's too loose. Never hit the handle sideways, whatever you do, split the handle. And even then when you're hitting the blade and you don't like it, you just a little bit of a spring around a bit of a bounce. Otherwise you'll end up bending the there the ferrule normally, that's where the wood's a bit um, the wood them metal's a bit softer. Ugh. Nearly there. Oh, 
Oh, God, I was watching Lee Anderson. He used to be interviewed. I can't remember who I was behind now, but um, he, he was right about some things in the sense that he was uh, saying about what the Tories um, fought their campaign on in 2019. It was Jeremy Corbyn, Brexit, and Boris Johnson. You know, because the man's a liar. <laughs> and this... <laughs> This time, he said, oh, what we're going to have to do this time is uh, fight the campaign for 2024 on the basis of the trans issue. He said the trans issue and, uh, and immigration. These people, you know, just, just foul. They really are foul. And woke, yeah, and they're anti woke. I don't think people actually know even what woke means after these Tories. It's what you wonder, don't they? It's social awareness. Oh, nearly there. I said it a minute ago, didn't I? <laughs> Nearly there. I said that a moment ago as well. Oh, dare I keep saying that, don't I? Right. Oh, I think I'm too happy. I don't take too much away because it's quite soft on sides here. So I'd rather remove a bit of this than actually um, move any more of that. But the next thing I've got to do is cut that lead and edge, which is going to be the, so literally the back of the of the bench. Right, let's move that. Which means we need to work out where it's got to come. So, about there. Probably about there. Where's my pen? Who stole the pen? Was it you? Did you just steal that? I bet you did, didn't you? Just steal my pen. Did you? I literally just uh, hand draw the back end. I've literally got to just remove it, really. Uh, whatever width that is. We just print the width of that. That's going that way. That way, like so. So, that is flush that side. I think I could be almost a little bit further in than the. Yeah, a bit narrower than what the width of the mortise is. So, I'm going to come in a fraction. A little bit there, a little bit. I'll always make it bigger. I have to, or trim the other bit down to suit. So back on the old handsaw, really I ought to mark at 90 degrees down as well, don't I? Perpendicular. There we go. Do 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 I oh, was struggling to make all my other cams work, they keep failing, so oh, it's, it's the computer. I just can't cope with it, it's not, it hasn't got enough, um, it hasn't got the abilities. Two cams it can cope with, but um, as soon as you plug the others in, it just fails, so I've given up on that one for the moment until I can change the computer. Do, 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 do. One more, one more there. <laughs> I 
Let's watch the film uh, last night on Netflix. And it's a British film. Is that, um, I've got his name now, oh my god. Oh, he's got an unusual name. Oh, big back guy. Um, I think it's called Luther anyway. And I have to admit, that's... It's an eye-opener. It's literally about... This guy is a... We well, ain't been convicted as a fraudulent copper. Um, which he says you have to do what you have to do. But it's pretty much... This other geezer, this criminal geezer from Estonia, with loads of money, and to find out what he can about this copper. The whole point about, you know, and, that, and then it got leaked and ended up going to jail. And the essence of the film is basically is that he used uh, technology to find out what he can about his victims. So, yeah, Big Bubba Watch, by the big. So there this guy is. He, he collects all this data, incriminates people, or finds out their secrets and uses it to get him to do what he wants him to do. And uh, the aim of it was to actually uh, create a website. A bit like voyeurism, but people killing themselves, you know, jumping off buildings and stuff like that, and then making it all go live. People can vote on how they want. Quite an evil concept, very much so. Um, but people could vote on how they want these people to die. So, yeah, that's snuff. <laughs> Quite frightening, though. Know, especially all this AI in that now as well. How far it's come. You know, they're using AI to design components on, you know, for the space um, industry now. And, uh, and do a better job, more efficient than what people can. It's not really AI though, is it, let's be honest. It's not really artificial intelligence. It's not sentient, so how's that intelligence? What are we doing now? A bit more off, I would say. A bit more off. Off with his head. God, I had my live stream on the other channel the other day. I was having so much trouble with the uh, synchronisation. I sussed it there, I sorted it out. It wasn't actually that far out in the end. It was only um, four milliseconds. Mm -hmm. oh, Into the cable. Don't chop your cables. Not a good idea. See, normally what I'd do is, if I was doing this from scratch, I would um, cut my mortars and then cut my legs to suit the mortars, because they're the easiest piece to part to, you know, to machine down. Just put them in the back half my face, really. That's fine. Not a huge problem. So under all that roughness, there's a, a little gem inside. It's actually nice wood underneath all this lot. Oh, 
and all this nasty stuff. And so I'll, I'll say nasty, I quite like it, but um, yeah, there's decent wood in there somewhere. I know the leg's not going to be going that way up, but just check, make sure I've got enough width there. Because what I don't want to do is force that on and split the leg. Because there's not much meat on it, you see. A bit more. It's not ready yet. No. Right from the other side. First of all, I need to raise the peg leg, which is there. I dropped it. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. The other leg could be better. Boom, 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 boom. This is when the whole thing collapses on me, isn't it? That's what happens, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. I suppose I could put something like underneath the fixed leg, actually. Might help. Like a sledgehammer. Kind of going on. Oh, that's breaking a little bit on the back there, so. That doesn't matter, that's good. Still in there, there on that one. See you in a minute. Everything's so crumbly. Good meat there, but there's obviously on the edges and stuff, there's a bit frail. Sled gems in the way now. <laughs> Going in. A bit easy, it doesn't have the dovetail. Ba bum 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 bum.
my god, that's all the way down. All right. As far as it goes. Wait tell. What a level loser. Might have to cut a bit of baggage. All the way down. Can't be all the way down, is it? Oh, no, it's not. It looks like it was from there, but it's not. Another 10 mil. Another 10 mil. We'd be about right. Look at that, right? Now it's all the way. So I make sure they line up. They do. And we've got this manky bit here. Some old night well rotten nails in it. It's not causing any problem, I'll leave them there. And then I'll just put new fixings in. Which I'll do in a minute, I'll go up. What I'll do with that is I'll let that dry out because I'll probably glue that as well as cascomite. If the other cascomite is in okay condition, so let's wedge that and then, cut, then cut that to length. Which I'll probably done with a handsaw, maybe. That might take a while though. Might do it partly with. Um, it's quite deep, you see. How am I going to. Well, one way to cut it is obviously with a sabre saw. Could do that with a sharp blade, isn't it? They always use a skill saw part way through. You could go all the way around if you like to want to actually. Um, or cut part way with a skill saw. Oh, anyway, we can cut it with machine and by hand. Probably, maybe. Anyway, first of all, we need the wedges. I've got another bit of wood here, which is about the right width. It is the right width. So, what we're going to do is cut that on the table so we can cut a couple of wedges, it's going to be quicker. Do 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 do. Could go all the way through. Well, I could do, but I'll well, keep my fingers. Right, so one now. And one in there. Get it started. You create a little split in it basically. Then we can drive it in. I'll cut that one off because it'll be too long. Cut that one off. So it's got legs, it's got its legs back. Now we need to cut that end. And considering it's about 70 80 mil thick, cut the by hand, it's going to be a bit of a bug. So I'm just probably use a small skill saw. Uh, I've got one over there. Chainsaw, if I could start the flipping thing up, it would be a pain in the neck. It won't keep running for some reason. 
So no, I won't mess about that. Oh. Eeny meeny miny mo. Hmm. I was going to use a skill saw. Where on earth is it? Where is my skill saw? What have you done with that? I know it's you. Dee 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 dee. That makes no sense because I was using it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, bum, 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 bum. oh, there's a little one over there. Well, you're going to go in there 40 mil, so. It's only a little dinky one. I usually cut the ends of my shutters normally. But that'll do. It's only a dinky one. But that'll go part way. Oh, I don't really want to cut this to length, but I'm going to have to. Too big. Always let it stop before you remove it. I'm halfway through, so I could finish it off with a handsaw. Maybe. That blade on there, that needs sharpening desperately. Probably tear it. And also, that's one hell of a lot of wood for that to be chopped through. And it's only a little, what is that, about 170 mil? Not even be that. Well, it's going to take me that. Oh, I've sold that for a game. No, it's not. Oh, it's down there, I see it. Or cheat. <laughs> Saber saw. All right, got cool. some good blades in this. Only thing is, we've got an English plug! Oh, me. Shows off, no use that. And I've got an adapter. Yeah! So what I'm doing, I'm looking for an adapter. I know I've got one here somewhere. In fact, I do have some here, but they're not in there. That's them. Although I do have. Oh, ah, e second. I do have an adapter. I've got a lead that I've ad adapted into a old English lead that I've put a French plug on it. <laughs> One day I'll put a plug on it. Blunt the bottom here, but actually, so it's, it's quite good there. So um, that's where we'll be cutting anyway, so it should be fine. So on. Let's see if that works. It's called cheating and lazy. Oh, 
It should work. expect that it's starting to go astray but when you're halfway through the bit of wood you think it'll follow the, the route of the of the least resistance but then it starts cutting into the uh, into the crappy side you know the bit I don't want <laughs> Doing it again. <laughs> Gotta be careful now. If I just let that drop, that's gonna break the back out. So I don't want to happen. So what you do is you get yourself get yourself another clamp and a bit of wood. Could even be this bit of wood. Like that. Well, that bit would even. Either way, let's literally put that underneath and clamp it. So it's got something to sit on, basically. Don't clamp it on the bit that's going to fall off, because it's like, you know, cutting the branch that you're sitting on. Oh, a tree. It's that stupid thing to do, isn't it? So, I've got, I clamped a bit of wood on, so now it's got something to rest on, so it's not. It's going to take some of the weight, so I don't end up that all dropped all at once and splitting the back of the cut out. Do 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 do. I'll show you the cut. It's not that bad, actually. Not too bad at all. So I'll clean it up. Take the arrows, the arrows off and what have you. So it's um it's neat. It's, oh no, it's short now. It's a dinky, it's a dinky bench. Oh well. Needs must. Oh, I'll attack that later with the angle, angle grinder with a wire wheel and clean all the top up. First of all, I want to... Get a, uh, da, 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 a little block plane and clean up this arras. Um, I might even cut the corner off, I think. Because that's gonna, this is the doors here. So if you walk into there, you're going to catch yourself on there. First of all, la 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 la. I'm not going to take that arras off because it's against the wall. See, you know, can you imagine working on this when it's like rocky, like that? 
You know, I haven't made it any narrower. When it's in situ, I'll literally put a little bracket on behind underneath, plate or something to the wall, because then it'll be rigid. The thing is, where it was, it's just going to deteriorate anyway, so at least this gives, does give it more, you know, a little bit more life, I suppose. So, just use the uh, lazy saw again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got legs, got their brace to go back on. The, it's tiny though. I mean, that's what, it's, what, nearly one half metres long. One, four, five actually, to be a bit more precise. So, um, but it's, it's, what I'll do is I'll clean this all up with, the, I'd say, with a wire brush. I'll put the one brace back on. Stiffen up, but it needs to stiffen up. Filling little holes needs filling up. A bit like I did with that door in the house. Remember we made that big door and the dovetail joints and all that sort of stuff in the, in the door. Yeah, it's kind of what we'll do to the top of this. Because we've been toying with the idea. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What, what, what kind of, you know, what kind of bench? What kind of desk could we put in our uh, in our workshop? Not workshop, in the office, sorry. Because it was going to be a bit um, boring, I was, you see. I don't want it boring, I don't like boring. No. So I thought, hang on. Well, that's it outside, getting wet and ruined. I thought that might be quite cool. In the uh, in the office, in my den. And the, miss the, the, the computer, the missus, uh, uh, Oh, she's what, when the miss comes. When Carolyn comes in, what she does, she um does things for like the t-shirts and stuff like that. She, at the moment, she's trying to get it on Pinterest and trying to get the you know spread it about a bit really online. So hopefully we can you know sell a few t-shirts and stuff um, from various places, and that way we can help fund the uh, yeah fund ourselves so we can carry on with the channel. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit hard, you know. Because we do need to earn something. It's just we don't need a lot, but you know we do need to earn something. Otherwise, we'll, we'll have to. I think well, this isn't working. <laughs> and so okay, then we'll do something different. It probably means me doing work work somewhere else, and not in, not on the channel. Right, it's wonky, and that back leg. I don't know if you can see it. It's going up and down. It's on the back leg is that needs fixing. And the legs are leveled up. Now, I've got a little trick what I do with the legs when I level them up. So that these these legs at the moment they won't be on the ground. What I do is I turn, I'll flip this upside down, and I'll get some um, thirty mil uh, dowel, a bit like um, broom handle, but 30, 30, 32 mil thick, wide, um, in diameter. And uh, I just make little little stumpy feet. I make them all the same length, drill in the bottoms, put it in with a bit of glue. So literally they become like little stilettos. And then what I do is I then level it to the floor, whatever floor it's going to sit on. In this case, in the uh, office, which has got a bit of a swamp in the floor in the office, it needs to come out and be replaced. So um, that, that will obviously be, that will have to change. But um, yeah, eventually, but we can't, we can't do it yet because it's a massive job and I'm always in the office, you know, doing the YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, you know, we can't... Kind of, make do what we've got at the moment and where my computer set up is at the minute i've actually got a false floor in there but it's like a almost like a stage in the corner for the otherwise i'll wheel off into the middle of the room you say every time i sit down it's not very helpful not very helpful at all so okay we've got so far so good i need to re-secure that back leg which is easy done let's tighten that up just wobbling about Let's see. 
Oh, right, like this. So that needs wedging on the back there. That one does. It's, it's loose. Yeah, it's very loose. So that needs to be wedged in. Now you can just, you could put a glue in there and put a dowel and all those screws in or something, but you're never going to get it tight. The best way to do it is put the wedges in and it splays it and it'll be tight in that socket again. What's happened over the years, it's deteriorating, you know, it's probably a bit soft in that in places and it's not very uh, tight in its own. But once we've got it in place, we're, gonna, we're literally going to um, fix it to the wall so it doesn't move at all. Then the CD unit we've got there at the moment, that's been take, we're, take, we're removing that because I need space for Caroline. At the moment, she's literally sitting beside me, virtually, and we're banging into each other constantly. Um, especially where we've got the, <laughs> the, that stage of full, she rolls off the edge. <laughs> that's not funny. No, no, of course it's not. <laughs> Let's put one in there, and we'll put one in there. Is it? Do, 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 do. So I need another wedge. All I'll do this time on a saw, I'm going to literally cut down there to create a wedge out of those two bits. Hopefully, keep the fingers. Hmm, that wasn't very good. I think that's me. One. Might find a little wood for that bit. Next one. Let's pack this one in first. Well, I didn't show you me doing it because what I'm doing is actually really dangerous. So I'm not about to show you that. Oh, nearly there. Definitely need another one. That'll make one. There's another one. A bit bigger this one is because it's got to go quite a way. I mean, they've got to spread it quite a lot. Cool, I can get another one in there. It's on though. Yeah, it's on. I'm not worried about that wobble at the minute because I'm going to put the stilettos on. First of all, I'm going to clean it up with a wire brush first. If I find one. Bring it back. So use a wire wheel in the grinder. I'll take any soft stuff that's in the top here, I'll just remove it and leave the hard stuff behind. That's the plan. It should do. Better make sure I put some glasses on. Where are they gone? Oh, in my pocket. Put them on. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no, there's no guard. You can't with the wire wheel like this. Or when you're doing sanding, because you can't actually hold it flat with the sanding. And the wire wheel, you've just got to keep your hands out of the way. It's usually a really good idea. Let's start over here.
one. Tango gun on there. I didn't even see that, but it's actually um you obviously see it's darker there, but that's where we're getting down to the actual woodwood. This the stuff I'm removing is the stuff that's literally been damaged by the water, by rain and wet been weathered. I don't necessarily want because you're never gonna get any wax on it. If you get the wax just I'll just keep but it's been that'd be a mess all the time. And I know it's gonna be undulated, I know that some bit's gonna be um lumpy. But that's not what we're using. The... It's always going to be on. There's a keyboard and a monitor. It's always going to be on it. I feel like I did that door. It's literally what I did to that door. 
Just tack it with a wire brush like this. It'll look a mess to start with, as it is as at the moment. A bit fluffy in places, especially when it's a bit wet. But the, what you're doing is you're literally going down to where the, the hardest timber is. If it's a bit, you know, too much, you've always got a little hand plane and just flatten the tops a little bit if it's too ridgy. Um, but, you know, you just, I don't know, it's a bit of um, labour of love right, until you get it to how you want it to be. It's got, before I can do anything really well, it's got to dry out because, as you see there, it's wet there. Very wet. Um, you can see here, this is where I've repaired it before. Yeah, you know, so just so I could use the voice and stuff. So it's a, it's a patchwork quilt, it really is. That thing there is a st is a stop that comes up to a nail sticking out of it. So you I'll probably show you actually. I remember right, it's still, oh, it's still working. So he literally's got oh, there is. The idea is you knock it up like that, and then your bit of wood. If you've got plain bit of wood, you push it up against there. It stops it from yeah moving across. So yeah, then you knock it out of the way. But we're not going to use that, obviously. <laughs> oh, so the keyboard slide off the top, off the end. So, yeah. So, obviously, I've got to level it up because it's very wonky. I'm going to put stiletto feet on the bottom there. Or I might even, uh, yeah, well, I suppose I could even chop the bottoms off and splice in the feet. If I want to, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll put stilettos on because the floor in the ha in, in, in the office is actually very uneven. So um, it's going to have to be trued up anyway on the floor, wherever, wherever it put it. Even if this was 100% flat, it would still need to have something done when, it, when it's in, where it's going to be living. I think it's going to look pretty cool with the voice and stuff, you see. So it's like, for instance, if I do my other videos, and I've got it where I've got that, this in the view, and I bet you see the, the voice. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway. It's a big old chunk of wood, though, isn't it? Do 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 A bit more. Do as much as I can because my hand's a bit dodgy. The carpal tunnel thingy. I'll leave that, I'll just leave that for a bit, my hands have gone all a bit jelly. A bit like jelly. Right, level up there. Alright, so. Oh no, what? Oh my god, I got... I ain't eaten anything today. So, um... 
Heat on. Well, the legs are solid. Put that cross rail back one minute. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll be it for me now. Because my hands are like this shot jelly using that machine. <laughs> and that flip and saw. That, yeah, that blooming um, saber saw. So I'm going to... I think it's 7 o'clock here. It's quickly four past 7 about so i need to go in there oh everything's covered in dust oh no look i'm on the television i'm on the television <laughs> everything's covered in thing there oh up upside but no that's what we're doing kind of we're good all for hills we'll see so oh hail marcus <laughs> yeah, we'll make use of it isn't it you know it's just going to deteriorate and i've got, got nowhere else to put it really yeah, I know, Mad Monk. The circle saw's a bit scary, really. <coughs> yeah, it is a mess, Karen. You're not wrong. It's a hell of a mess. I've got muck everywhere. Over there, near the table saws, are right on mess as well. I've just been starting doing so many different things. And it's a... Hello, Mad Fists. Il... Oh, that's it. Ilbert's uh, uh, Elba. Ildris Elba. That's it. The big black guy from Malufa. Uh, um, yeah, he's a brilliant actor. He's... I love his voice. He's got a real deep voice. What other film I saw him in recently? Oh my god, what was that? Oh, with the Rockin and uh, Jason Statham and that other comedian actor. Oh god, I'm losing the plot now. I covered it full of dust. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Simon Says. Hello, Simon Says. Oh, hello to you too. Good evening. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go in in a minute. I do apologise, but. You know, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. See, the thing about this diet I'm on, you lose your appetite. Because everything's blooming boring after a while. <laughs> no wine. No beer. No bread. Miss bread. Ulberzelda. Mad fists. Oh. Right, anyway, I'm going to call that it because I'm, I'm getting to the point where I am. I'm flaking, I am. Absolutely flaking. It says I'm streaming. <gasps> so I must stop streaming. So thanks for joining us, and I'll, we'll, you know, I'll do a bit more of that later. And uh, there's a few little repairs I ought to do to it as well to make it look cool more than anything, really. Make up the dovetail, put some dovetails in or something, make it look a bit cooler. Um, but it's not going to be written, they're not going to write on it, and you can see that, that it's, you know, you'll have a pad on there, and that's about it. All will be on there, be a keyboard, maybe the computer, which is a tiny little mini computer thing. Um, and obviously the monitor, which I'm actually going to take out of here. Yeah. Bam. One of the monitors, not that one, that one. Never mind. So did he. So it's time to go. Oh, I've got spicy chicken on the go. Oh, you lucky devil. I've got chicken. Carolyn's just roasted me a chicken. That's not a spicy chicken. No. Can we have some pan pipe music? What? <laughs> Pan pipe music, maybe one day. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna make make a move because I just oh beefy cheese. Oh my god, <coughs> make me all hungry. You are. It's, it's, it's all you do. You're all talking about looking food because you know what? I'm starving, hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. What have I? Eaten? Oh no, actually, I have eaten something. I had about three spoonfuls of um cel uh, celeriac, which is like grated celeriac. You know, they call it celery here, but it's actually celeriac. The root vegetable, wasn't it? Well, that's sort of above the root, above the ground, isn't it? Was it in the ground? Celery, I can't remember now. That's all I've had. No wonder I'm hungry. Not because I, I woke up this morning, I put, I was heavier this morning, I was yesterday morning. All that does that, your weight goes like that, it fluctuates when you're on diet anyway, so your water, how much water you got in you? Beef for Jesus. God. That'd be. It's a wheat product, I'm not allowed wheat, it's carbohydrates, you see. Carbs. It's beef in, I eat beef. Anyway, some of you go, so go. So, ta ta. Do, 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 do. No, I don't really want to, but I need to, because I'm flaking. I really am flaking. So tired and hungry. <laughs> <laughs>